Mia and Maddie, two 18 year olds were enjoying a day at a reservoir in Colorado. Now this reservoir has a beach area, they're enjoying themselves. They're wearing what you're supposed to wear at a beach, a bikini, bathing suit, makes sense. But some random guy felt the need to approach them and shame them for having the audacity to wear bikinis at the beach. So I bring you this amazing interaction. There are multiple parts, so prepare yourself. Here's the beginning of the unfortunate interaction. Why do you dress this way? Dude, well, I, 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 and I like women, so please leave us alone. Well, kindly. Well, take take young. I'm at the beach in take, my bathing take, suit. Yeah, that's that's a thong and that's a bra. That is a bathing take suit. Take young sir. eyes into consideration. They don't need to see pornography, right? We're not coming eyes. up to you, bothering you. Please go away. You're flaunting your stuff. I'm not flaunting anything. Don't look at me. <laughs> you look around and, and you the only thing that sticks out because your whole body. Okay, is well, silly. why are you looking at me? But here's the thing, there's okay. free will in America. There's no, freedom bro, of speech. You don't want to look at me. And, and, if, and, if, and if men of God don't stand up, then our society's gonna go, go down the drain because there's no morality. I'm atheist. Sorry. Yeah, same. You're, you're, okay, that, 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 that's if you're an atheist, that doesn't mean you have to, you know, show your body off. You can still put clothes on. Oh, I can't with you. I'm speaking truth. Your body Please. will never ever satisfy. Please. The physical never ever satisfy. There's a longing in each of your hearts to actually be seen. The reason why, the reason why you're showing your body because you're like, Dude. am I pretty enough? <laughs> We're definitely pretty enough. Thank you. Hey, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yes, please leave us just, alone. Just next time you come to the beach and there's young eyes, take that into consideration. Because, what are you because talking about? You're shirtless. You're not saying. Yeah, what are you talking about? You're going to go follow that man now? Yeah, go. Move along. That's a lot different. How, how, is, how is that different? Because she has a. Oh my God. Now there is a second part to this where his fiance gets involved. But before we get to that video, John, I obviously have many reactions to that. Mm -hmm. But let me hear from you first. I let me open the I floor. Just don't, don't, don't ever talk to anyone. Just stop. It never goes well. It's never, silence is better than whatever you have to say. Stop talking to people. The body never satisfies, like, like it's so creepy. Yeah, I'd it's love so to be his fiance creepy. with the body never satisfying. Um, uh, dude, why are you wearing a tank top? Do you need everyone to see your arms? Are you desperate for validation about your guns, dude? Why don't you cover those up? That's different. God though. doesn't want. That's different. Yeah. That's. I mean, that's what he said. Why are you wearing when the shorts? Women pointed out a man who was, you know, dressed yeah. scantily. It's uh, just so st don't. Why are you at a beach? Why are you at a beach and ogling women? And uh, oh no, I, everywhere I look, I just I have to see. Okay, why'd you walk up to her? Why did you walk up to get a much longer, closer look at this this sinful woman flaunting her body? It seems like she has less of a problem than you do. It seems like you have a problem where you really, really want to talk to whichever woman you find to be most attractive, uh, most scantily clad at a beach, and that's. You know, you could try that. You're gonna get yelled at and you're gonna be mocked online. I don't know why his fiance is putting up with that. I haven't seen this video. <sighs> his fiance, girl, run. Please what don't do be doing? on his side. I haven't run. seen the second video. Well, there, like I said, part two, his fiance steps in. Mm -hmm. Let's watch. What do you consider a bathing suit? A one piece, literally. What? <laughs> or, 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 or a two piece, or, or something like this that's actually modest because. You don't need to be showing your body. Please just leave us alone. Please leave us alone. I'm just saying, I hope okay. this actually touches Pull your head out of your eyes. Jesus. No. The next time you come out. Oh. Today, we're gonna, you're going to come face to face with God. <laughs> and he says it's better Dude, for a Did you know milk. God said do not he judge? Said, he said it's thou he said, thou he said, he said it's better for a Oh, and if you find so someone's body distracting, the, uh, then gouge your eyes oh, out. Yeah, what <laughs> What do you mean? Why are you judging? What do you mean? I'm judging you. Yes, you. Not because of even what he says, but because you need to value yourself. If you're valuing yourself, 
that's the important thing. Okay. 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 That's what I'm saying. Thank you for your word. Why would anyone ever go outside? Uh, no, Is that no, just waiting for no. Them? Um, go outside and the way the women handled that I think was great. And I'm not talking about the uh, polka dot that was the fiance? wearing woman, I believe so, yes. Uh, let me just say, like you don't, you know, you're, what did you say, devaluing yourself? Yeah, yeah, you don't Devalue know. Devalue your, I'm not judging you, bikini? I'm just saying what you're doing is inherently wrong and kids shouldn't be around, I'm not judging. Let me just say, if my husband, this would never happen in a million years, I could never imagine my husband doing it. My husband approached any woman mm -hmm. and started saying degrading things to her because she's too scantily clad. Oh, we would have issues. Mm -hmm. And my issues would not be with the scantily clad women. <laughs> my issues would be with uh, the pervert who has gone out of his way to notice the way other women are dressed. Who's obsessed with it. And who like declares that he's so ridiculous and lacks so much self control that he can't contain himself. Mm -hmm. Like, think about what he's doing there, right? I can't control myself. Because you women look real good in these bikinis. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I need you to leave. You need to stop. No, that sounds like sounds like you're having a problem, bro. So be on your way. You and your wife, be on your way. Yeah. Okay, we don't what is this? Like the Taliban? Yeah. Like you want us to wear burqas on the beach? Like what's wrong be, with that? Be modest. Be mo this no, is the no, this is the we don't need to be modest. We don't need to be. We don't live in a theocracy. Mm -hmm. We don't need to be modest. Okay. Uh, by the way, the women say that none of them were wearing thongs, but it doesn't even matter. Yeah, who cares? It doesn't even matter. There are thong bikinis, and if they wanted to wear a thong bikini to the beach, they have the right to do it. There's nothing stopping them from doing that. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Yeah. So if people, religious people, are uncomfortable. With uh, individuals burying their skin at the beach, don't go to the beach. It's very, very easy not to go to the beach. Why are we all being inconvenienced by other people's religious beliefs in a country that separate that's supposed to separate church and state? Like wh what? I mean, they don't want there to be. I, it sounds like they're having personal issues. They should go, you know, <sighs> fix that and work on that in their own households. But it gets worse. Uh, so we do have one more video here. Uh, so later, Logan, as his name is. Oh, by the way, before we get to Logan and him posting his L online, more L's online, uh, let me just uh, make a note about a statement that was made by one of the women in the video because she said something about gouging your eyes out. She was actually making a reference to a Bible verse which states if your right eye causes you to stumble, Gouge it out and throw it away. So the Bible agrees with me, guys. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to be thrown into hell. Now, I think all of this is gobbledygook. I don't care. Like, you can read me all these Bible verses that agree with what I believe. It, it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't believe in the Bible. I don't believe in the Torah. I don't believe in the Quran. I myself am an atheist. In a country that separates church and state, I am free. So if I want to wear a thong bikini and some pervy dude approaches me, I'm gonna give him the middle finger and tell him to F off, okay? Doesn't matter what your Bible says, doesn't matter what the Quran says, doesn't matter what the Torah says. It's not about one particular religion. It's about religion in general. No religion rules this country. We don't live in a theocracy. But nonetheless, if that guy believes in the Bible, well, the Bible says that, hey, if you if you can't control yourself, gouge your freaking eye out. Yeah. And I'd love to see it. <laughs> I'm good. I, I'll hear about it no, rather. I want to see it. Um, I want to see how devout this guy is. Yeah. How devout are you? Yeah, and it's also very clear about trying even trying to force your Christianity on other people. Clearly the New Testament is against that. Yeah, no, it's pathetic. There's a there's a TikTok that this guy needs to watch. Of one Anna Kasparian talking about your Christianity, <laughs> and it's obviously true. Um, but but again, it, it isn't like it's it's channeled through Christianity. But this is about busybodies. Hundred. We are a country of busybodies. Yes. Some of them are racist Karens and Kens. Some of them Ooh. are Christian Karens and Kens. Correct. But they all want to get up in your business. Well, here's Logan attempting to explain himself. 
So my side of the story is I was at um, a reservoir or a lake, and I was with family members. Um, somebody in my family said, hey, we've got to move. There's some college-age women here that are showing too much, um, and I don't want you know, my son or, or my daughters to see these things. And so right then and there, I just had a uh, just a righteous anger come over me, a boldness by the Holy Spirit to go in to confront these ladies and to speak truth that, hey, what you're wearing is not okay for a nine-year-old boy or a six-year-old boy. Um, and reason being is because coming from being introduced to pornography at a young age, it destroyed me. I, I don't, I'm not going to apologize. I'm just going to say I'm going to continue to stand on the truth. I'm going to continue to stand on the word of God. Our society is on such a downcline of morality. Pornography and lust is at an all-time high. People, um, you know, don't even know their gender anymore. It, it says uh, plainly in Scripture that the that <clears throat> that the truth the truth will set them free. Not acceptance. Uh, not compliments, but man, God loves you, but man, you can't find your worth in your body. There's a longing deep in your soul that only Jesus can satisfy. God damn, that's boring. No, it's actually um, <sighs> highly amusing. Listen, I get it, like chafing can be serious, but it didn't ruin your life. Uh, go get some cream and stop harassing uh. women who are dressed the way they're supposed to be dressed at the beach. I was I was introduced to pornography at a young age and it ruined my life. How did it ruin your life? Like what what happened? Oh, let me guess actually. That so it wasn't about actually him. about the pornography. About <laughs> it was about him being made to feel guilty about it through the lens of organized religion. Because there are nude beaches yep. ever like all over the place. Are those people racked with guilt about it? No, they're having no, a great time. We created that. Well, not me, I'm an atheist. But you created that. Your religion created that. They made you feel bad. And now you've decided to visit that abuse on another generation. I got there's a lot of stuff that's gonna mess with your kids' minds as they get older. They might start watching Matt Walsh videos or whatever. Mm -hmm. But apparently are not the thing that's gonna wreck them. It's just not what's going to, like they're not gonna see it and then never learn calculus. That's not how the world works. Let me also and if they do, know. they need an understanding dad that's not gonna push his values on everybody. He mentioned his son and he has a fiance. Mm -hmm. So what happened there, Logan? <laughs> see, whatever happened there, we're fine with it. I am fine with it. I'm just saying, sort your own stuff out. Okay, he believes in a religion, so he needs to abide by that religion if he believes in it. The women he approached unprovoked, they're minding their own business. They're living their best lives. Mm -hmm. So he needs to suss out whether or not he's really a devout Christian. I don't care one way or the other. I'm just saying that it is unacceptable to go around judging people and demanding that women leave a beach because they're dressed the way you're supposed to be dressed at a beach. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Whatever personal issues he's got, whatever self-loathing he's dealing with, work that out in therapy. Mm -hmm. But going around judging other people, that's not gonna solve anything, yeah. okay? If porn really ruined his life, what he's doing right now is not in any way improving it. Yeah, that's not persuasive either. If you really want to get through to those women, you got to come with better than uh, this book I like said it. That's not enough. They clearly are not convinced by it. It's just so, but just stop being busybodies about yeah. whatever BS you like. Right, just stop it. In the bonus episode today, we will be talking about busybodies in a different context, in the oh, yes. context of neighborhoods and people harassing one another about the appropriate time to mow your lawn and things like that, <laughs> and I will rage about it. But before we do that, just one more graphic I'm gonna read in regard to this story, and it's from Mia and Maddie. They're the ones who uploaded the video of this whole interaction. They say, he came up to us unprovoked, his child wasn't looking at us. She seemed confused the whole time, and that woman with him wasn't his wife, it was his fiance, and they have a child out of wedlock, this godly man. Which again is fine. It's fine, but not in the context there. of a guy who claims to be a devout Christian who yep. goes around judging others. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.